Underground podcast, you're in tune with Fracas and Darwin. Episode 15 live in session. This is a brand new track from ourselves entitled Never Back Down. Check it out. usual we've got loads of brand new music on the show plus we've got guests mob and enemy who are coming in to have a chat and uh, play a guest mix for us ahead of the release of their album session 4 cd which is out this week on the hu store also going to be having a sit down with alex prospect who's also done a guest mix for us ahead of the release of his album dedicated which is out this week on lethal theory 2 this is a hard corner ground show stay locked Never back down. It's sort of a vocal track, but also not. It's sort of an instrumental. Yes, it's not got any vocals as such in it. It's kind of got like ad libs and stuff. So we'll just do something a little bit different after uh, our artist album. Anyway, moving into some brand new breakbeat hot on our future breaks. This is Will Smash and Show Me. Check it out. album still out <laughs> still out it's only, it's only it was out happened. it came out and now it's still out yeah well we've um, we were talking about it um, you'll find out when um, we did it with Alex in a little while but just saying about the shelf life of music and stuff it's, uh, it's so easily forgotten these days like yeah. we've kind of you know spent a long time writing this album and we it's, want it to actually, last it's nearly it's over 12 months worth of work and some of the first things that are on there yeah they were like yeah. this time last year we've been 
So yeah, uh, Diversions is our artist album. If you haven't picked up a copy yet, you should have done. If you don't know these podcasts, I think it's the least you can do. No matter where we put in. Um, yeah, you can get that from hardcoreunderground.co.uk. Uh, yeah, we can. We can. We can. Well, we can say what's going to happen and then just presume everything's going to be fine. And it should it's ninety percent of the way there. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, no, we've got a little ad campaign running on um, a few cable channels starting on December the seventh. The album is going to run for three, four weeks over Christmas. Yeah. Stunning record, that's Will Smash and Show Me for coming on Future Breaks. Brand new music exclusive play here on the Hard Chronogram podcast. And yeah, as I said, you will be able to see our uh, Diversions TV advert on Clubland TV, MTV Dance, and I think the Dance Chart Show. Uh, there probably are some others as well. Keep your eyes out for those in December. to the Hardcore Underground Podcast with Frackers and Darwin. When life has got too deep and left you hurting The future you had hoped for is now burning And the dreams you held so tight New Year's Eve, where are we? Doncaster, at the Doncaster Dome. Destruction, Uprising and Future Beats. That's going to be wicked if you're up north. And then later on the same night, we are at HTID. Premonition at yes. Engine, Rooms. Engine Rooms in Southampton. Unfortunately, we couldn't squeeze the Leicester gig in. Well, now we're responsible adults, obviously. You can't do 100 miles an hour in <laughs> <20. laughs>
things on a minimal tip that's mob and enemy cryptic taken from album session four going to be catching up with the guys and uh, listening to their guest mix uh, a little bit later in the show right now brand new music on twr this is darren styles featuring gavin beach track entitled before the sun which i think is out this week check it out on the hu show Used to feel like everything around me used to break Even on my skin I'd feel the ache Couldn't stop the world from turning Then I saw sparks like a million lanterns in the sky Lighting up the streets we came alive, you and I I only ever really needed you Before the sun Surrender with Gamma on the remix. Before that, we had a little uh, brief interlude there, Dublin Gamma Snake Bite as well, forthcoming TWR. This is the Hot Corner Grand Podcast right now. You're in tune with Frackers and Darwin. We're on episode 15. Guest mixes and interviews with Mob and Enemy and Alex Prospect coming up later in the show. Stay tuned.
Now it's time to uh, set the record straight on a very important matter relating to people who take the mick at you for wearing sunglasses in a way. I just don't like lasers in my eyes. Because they always do, when you go into these waves, it, so it, it might look like I'm being like, sort of hey. like, oh, miss the cool. And it's not. I it's ball because ball. literally, <laughs> well, yeah. But it's literally the lighting. Most of the time when you play at the big waves, you get lighting in your face, video screen, and you can't see anything. No. Like, try mixing. Those up lights, like Westfest now, the up lights are so hot from that front. Exactly. Country. When you look at it, you can only see about five rows You literally back. can't turn around to look at this, because there'll be a video screen behind you, and you'd be blind so you, you goodbye it's the next track you're going to mix so you're not just cool but you're practical as well there you go I'm supposed to heal ya, but I ain't done much healing. Hello, can you hear me? Come in California, dreaming about who we used to be when we were younger and free. I've forgotten how it felt before the world fell out of feet. It's such a beautiful world. Yeah, 
we gave uh, this a little bit of a relick. This is one of your yes. bits from back in the day. It's actually really, really. Oh, it's on one of these Ant, Ant Johnson vocals that I actually really enjoyed. That really never got a light of day. So yeah, this is Darwin and well, it's, it's rampant Darwin versus Ob featuring Ant Johnson, and it's twice around the moon, and it's Fracas and Darwin on the remix. Check it out. This is Obi featuring Ant Johnson, that's Twice Around the Moon. And that's a brand new Fraxton Darwin remix from us. Exclusive play. We're going to go into the first of our interviews and guest mixes for this month now. We'll catch you on the other side. Stay tuned. The best new music of 2015. This is the Hardcore Underground Show. Okay, we're joined in the studio now with our guest this month. It's Alex Prospect. Alex Prospect of Lethal Theory is here to talk about his album, Dedicated. How are you, mate? Yeah, I'm good, guys. How you doing? Not too bad at all. Um, we're going to have a little guest mix from you shortly, and people will be able to hear what the album sounds like. Mm-hmm. Um, but do you want to just try and sum up what it is you've tried to do with this project? I've tried to make something that I think is the coolest thing ever. So uh, it's all the things of uh, everything in music that I think's uh, really good at 170 BPM. It's definitely all hardcore throughout the whole thing, um, but... I like to think there's moments where there's, uh, you know, sincere songwriting and I've made the album so it's balanced, so it's all, all sorts of sounds. You've done some collabs as well, haven't you, on the album? Yeah, man, got a really good lineup of people. Obviously got um, Darren Styles, Gamma, Joey Riot, uh, Mark Breeze, Club Filler, Callum Higby, who's like a new guy um, who's really, really talented. My vocalist, Becky, that I've been working with for many years. Awesome new vocalist called Reezy as well. And uh, Jack Ambrose as well, this guy from Brighton this weekend as well. And I guess that's kept it interesting working with, with different people all the time. Yeah, of course. I mean, I mean, I, I like when, when I'm in the studio, I'm very much into letting the person I'm working with do their thing. Because I've, I've, you know, I like working with people that are very, you know, definite in what they, who they are as an artist and what they want to do musically. And I feel, you know, for example, with, with the collab with, with Styles, that was, you know, he was playing a lot of the, you know, big EDC Vegas and uh, sort of knockout circus in Sydney and all these sort of hard style and trap stages. So I wanted to do something that would be good for him to play on one of these stages. You know, obviously I pitched him the idea of the, you know, the Rock Right Now track, you know, ended up being his um, EDC opening track. So that was, you know, that was cool with that. And then, you know, when I'm working with Becky, we, you know, we just get always get on a vibe in the studio and just sort of end up laughing so much and then just, you know, also make music kind of on the side. But I mean, everyone, I like to let them do their own thing 
and then just kind of be quite um, open-minded in the studio. But your records all do sound like they've got your influence in them. You know, what is it about the way that you work, do you think, that gives um, the tracks you produce that kind of Alex Prospect sound? My, my sort of motto has always been... Um, I, I like to produce music that's my own favourite songs and like I don't, I don't sort of want people to think this is sort of the wrong thing or whatever but you know when people sort of say oh they love like, the Rolling Stones or the Beatles like I'm my favourite artist like my, my music that I make is my favourite music I'm just like doing what I think is cool you're kind of not writing to um, a predetermined idea of what your audience wants you're writing music you like well yes and no I mean obviously I'm very conscious of dance floor functionality and I'm all you know we're, through my whole album I've always I've never wanted to do something that is, you know, arty or, or whatever. And that's not really where my, how I feel to express myself as an artist in this point of time. So everything is all dance floor uh, friendly. So the, the way I structure the tracks is made for absolute dance floor. And you mentioned you're signed, um, obviously, to Lethal Theory. Um, we've spoken to Obi and various people who've been on the podcast before about the kind of team ethic and stuff of, of working there. But I'm assuming that that's been the same for you. You found Joey a positive influence and working with the labels kind of helped you kind of get your game together. Yeah, massively years. so. I mean, I mean, actually, it's, you know, I was planning on going to Ibiza for this summer uh, of 2015. It was actually a couple of weeks before I was going to We all go. tried to talk you out of it, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah a, few, yeah, a few people. I mean, you know, Joey gave me a call. He, he wasn't like, don't go to Ibiza, but he was just, he, he just sort of gave me a few different perspectives to think about and, you know, suggested doing an album. Um, you know, obviously, I, you know, I, t- I t- you know, respect Joey a lot and take on his his advice. Um, so yeah, that's what I've done. It's been, you know, by far the best thing I could have spent my time doing. And I feel I found without the, with this album, I feel I found a lane that really works for me and allows me to be really creative. So you know, I'm looking forward to um, you know get this one out of the way first. But I'm looking forward to getting in the studio again and you know raising the game again. So so what have you got um, in store for 2016? 2016 is going to be spent. Uh, well, I'm starting off the year in uh, Sydney actually. Like I've got a gig in um, yeah Sydney, Australia. So that's going to be uh, cool. Uh, really looking forward to that and then got America tour um, start of the year February March then a bunch of UK gigs and you're going to be carrying on playing these tracks for a good while oh yeah yeah definitely yeah. I, mean, I mean you know the, the whole ethic of when I was started creating the album was I, I wanted this to be something that I'll be proud of for the whole of my life so if I focused on making the tracks even if they were played acoustically they would still they would still stand up also as well what I feel is that the the way that the album is balanced and the way that each track sort of sets up the track that follows it it's it's like the album is greater than the sum of its parts so i feel that when you listen all the way through uh, which i hope when as soon as people get the album they, they will do it does you can tell we've we've sort of had this before not just like the keys and stuff with the, the tracks certainly are but the kind of the style of them the mm. way that one track ends and the next one begins it is actually quite important even though they're kind of 13 separate tracks the order that they run in is quite important to yeah. being able to put it into the CD player and listen from start to finish without getting bored and you know yeah I mean also after I'd done a few more of the tracks you, you know um, there were certain tracks where I'd be like I know this needs to be the end track there were certain yeah. tracks where I was you know I, I mean what, the, the first track Cameras Action Lights that's made as an intro to the album and obviously I talk about you know sort of uh, you know my, my hunger for making it in the game and stuff like that so it's um, you know there were certain tracks where, which had to be at certain places on the album but then I, you know I do feel that I've achieved a musical journey but obviously yeah. at the same time not uh, sacrificing dance floor functionality so. <laughs> so Alex what have you um, included in your mix for us well I'm showcasing brand new stuff obviously from the album um, just give everyone a bit of a taste of what to expect from it um, and I've mixed it more like how I would in a club set it's a mini mix it's exactly what we asked for that's pretty good and um, obviously you're getting um, a bit more exposure on the main stages now finally at last which is good to see where can people catch you if they want to find out where you're playing basically where's the best places uh, to look at best place is obviously social media so um, just Alex Prospect UK for Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and Alex Prospect on Snapchat and also Alex Prospect on SoundCloud as well. Cool. Right, thanks for joining us, mate. We're going to go into the guest mix now. This is Alex Prospect on the Hard Chronogram Show. Stay locked. Oh, I'm thinking out loud You say you know me And what I'm all about Driving me crazy I just wanna shout All these types of things I can't do without Oh, I'm shutting you down Trying to convince me Too much I know now You can't involve me I just want out All these types of things I can't do without Oh, all oh, love oh, oh, oh.
with you Tonight we can run out of sight, we can fly at the speed of light, we can touch the sky. We could be a world away, you and me. There's no need to stay apart. Another day, just come right here and know that I'll be closer. I'll be closer. with our first guest this month Alex Prospect in the mix with a showcase of tracks from his album Dedicated out now on Lethal Theory go check it out at hulkrunderground.co.uk I'm gonna 
shit Motherfuckers be all up in my business I'm a bad bitch, I'm about to kill shit Get the fuck back and suck my dick I'm a bad bitch, I'm about to kill shit Motherfuckers be all up in my business I'm a bad bitch, I'm about to kill shit Get the fuck back and suck my dick I'm a bad bitch, I'm a bad bitch I'm a bad, I'm a bad bitch I'm a, I'm a about to kill shit I'm a bad bitch, I'm a bad bitch This month's guest, Alex Prospect, on the Hulk Underground show. Turn it up. Show me the colors of your heart. Show me, show me, yeah. And you show me the colors of your heart. Show me, show me. Feeling like regrets, I say I'm over it Still it's heavy on my chest And I can't believe that we got this far And I can't believe that we got this far All our mistakes, we just keep repeating And the reasons given have just lost their meaning And it's hard to see how we got this far And it's hard to see how we got this far But when it all falls down, we don't want to be lonely But when it all falls down, we'll pretend we're the only ones right now But when it all falls down, we don't wanna be lonely But when it all falls down, we'll pretend we're the only, the only ones right now Oh 
pretend we're the only ones right now. Who pretend we're the only ones right now? Only ones right now. Who pretend we're the only ones right now? But when it all falls down, we don't wanna be lonely. But when it all falls down, we pretend we're the only ones right now. But when it all falls down, we don't wanna be lonely. But when it all falls down, we pretend we're the only, the only ones right now. Prospect guest mix on the Hulk Underground show this month. Check out his debut artist album dedicated out right now on hulkunderground.co.uk.
Could be different. I wish I could have saved you, but there was more that was missing. And I don't blame you, but I wish it could be different. I wish I could have saved you, but there was more that was missing.
learning Can't expect to take every right turning I know you were hurting And that things were far from perfect I tried my best to help But you needed to do it yourself Living a life not made for you But made for someone else I still see you in my reflection We'll always have that connection But it's a tragedy That your life went in that direction I know you're proud of me Continuing your legacy It's your boy Becoming the man I wanna be And I don't blame you But I wish it could be different I wish I could have saved you But there was more that was missing And I don't blame you But I wish it could be different I wish I could have saved you But there was more that was missing Thanks to Alex Prospect for the guest mix. Don't forget his debut artist album, Dedicated, out now on Lethal Theory Records. Exclusively available at hardcoreunderground.co.uk. A whole CD full of exclusive full-length tracks, including collabs with Darren Styles, Gamma, Club Filler, Joey Riot. We're going to be back with Mob and Enemy in just a few minutes' time. Stay tuned. And I don't blame you, but I wish it could be different. I wish I could have saved you But there was more that was missing And I don't blame you But I wish it could be different I wish I could have saved you But there was more that was missing The best new music of 2015 This is the Hardcore Underground Show Right, so join me with our second guests of this month, Mob and Enemy. How are you doing, guys? Good man, how are you? Not too bad. How are you, Mike? You right? Very good, very good. Right, so we're here to talk about your album, uh, Album Sessions 4, which is the fourth in a series of albums you've been doing for about four or five years, is that right? Well, it's about seven now, isn't it? Seven really? years? Yeah, it's, it's over six. Yeah, well, it's around six or seven, yeah. So before we get into the details of what the album's actually about, do you want to tell people what, what they can expect if they picked up the CD, what, what they actually get in for their money here? So you've got three discs of music, so talk people through what's happening. The first first CD is uh, the mix of uh, all brand new stuff, so that's brand new material, brand new songs, brand new lyrics from Enemy. The so second, this is a mix CD basically? The first CD yeah, is yeah. a mix CD. The second CD is essentially the same but it's a, it's a mix of everything that we've done in the past, all the best bits from all the other albums, all of Mike's best lyrics from his whole career, the stuff that I've done even before the album sessions. That's, it's called history, that's what we named it, history. Right. So like, everyone who's um, so it's kind of like the best of the first yeah, because people basically. are going to buy it now and they might not necessarily have bought old stuff. So basically put a new CD, as Mike said, all the new stuff, a history CD so everyone can sort of see the backstory of what we've done as well. And then obviously we've got an unmixed as well so all the DJs out there, they can buy, you know. And that's all exclusive stuff. So yeah, basically yeah, yeah. Have all the tracks that people get on there unmixed, they've not been released anywhere, anywhere yeah, else. Yeah, we'll yeah. put a couple of old ones as yeah, well. There's a couple happened. of ones that have been released on there. A long, long time ago. A long time ago. And, but the, most of them, yeah, are just brand new tracks. So, so how do you approach something like this? Is it something you'd always planned to do? or We wasn't actually going to do another one. The last one was going to be the last one. But um, we were having a few drinks once, and it was actually Mike's missus that was like, why don't you uh, do um, a history CD? And I just sat there and thought, you know what? That's a really good idea. Why don't we do a new album to end it all? And then make it make it history as well. So we sort of sat there and thought this is gonna take about a year. <laughs> yeah. It's not so much. I think as well with the other albums, it was never planned. It was more like off the cuff. Um, yeah. I met Mike in um, H O D in the Sun actually. When was that? Two thousand eight. Two thousand eight. Right, right, right. Not only said, oh, you know, he had my stuff, and he really wanted to work with us. And then we did some sets together, and then he said, like, let's do a little mix. It was basically all the tunes that I've been doing then uh, with with Jeff Supreme and me on my own. Because he was signed to THC to start that was with right, yeah. when we first came across you, yeah. Yeah, so it was all there. It's the flexibility for me to be able to do that with Mike as well. And then as we progressed, Mike just wanted to get in the studio more, wanted to learn more, he wanted to learn how to make the tracks and, and just jump in and do the tracks as well. But some, some such good ideas. Because there's a lot of stuff you guys have together. produced together. There's quite a lot of yeah, yeah. Enemy tracks on yeah, there. Yeah, see, the, the albums, we, 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 especially for this one, we kind of wanted to make this one yeah. a joint, more of a joint thing rather than have i get other people collaborating if that makes mm. sense so do you get properly involved in the studio like obviously because a lot of those yeah. tracks haven't even got lyrics they're kind of like yeah yeah of course yeah, yeah. Like. so yeah you're, you're yeah, involved well, in the writing we, bo- we both for all the vocals yeah both written by us 
um, I'll sit there and write a vocal for one track, and there might be a track that he's wrote a vocal for. And all the ideas are that oh, it's always it's always 50 50. He's never just sitting there just going. But I've learned, and when I go into studios of other people, I've learned how to sort of produce in a way from watching him for like eight years. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. When, I, when I've got my own studio getting set up, and there's things that I know now. So a lot of people probably think I just go in and sit there, but it's it's a hundred percent both of us, everything. Definitely more. He's the most involved MC in the studio at the moment. Yeah. Easy, do you know what I mean? He's, he's the, like the, he does account for 50% of what we're doing on everything, you know. When it says Mob and Enemy, it doesn't mean it's me with an MC over the top on that track. So what did you think as you guys as a pairing, what would you describe as your unique kind of stamp on the hardcore? We, we like regional hardcore music. That Stuff that you guys lifting. would like to listen to if you were still on the dance floor. Still yeah, being, just, just real hardcore hard uplifting. Kind of and for me, everything mm. has to be catchy. Something you can go back and sing to, do you know what I mean? Someone can go, what's that tune? Like, da, 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 do you know what I mean? Yeah. Something really catchy, that's what I, I feel. Uh, plus, we're amazing, amazingly good looking, you know, talented. <laughs> you know, everything, really. That's why you've got photos in the back of your head. Yeah, on yeah, the it's on the CD. <laughs> yeah. So, if people want to come and see you play um, over the next couple of months, where's the best places for them to look online um, to see where your live dates and stuff are? Facebook, really, for me. And um, we've yeah. got Facebook. Well, we're just opening a brand new YouTube channel. That's the other thing I was going to say. Yeah, you've just about to that, launch a new. <laughs> Just about to launch a new YouTube channel with videos yeah. and bits and pieces. So that's Mob and Enemy TV. Is that yeah, it's, it's, it's album, album session, session TV. TV, right? Okay, which is just AS TV. So, okay. but it's or, or album session TV. So probably the advert for this album is going to be the first yeah, thing you post. Yeah, all the old albums going up. So if you want to listen to that one, two, and three, they'll be up. They're up there already, actually. But so it's going to be for it. free. The first three albums. Yeah, you've yeah, put it yeah. on free. We have got a West Fest live set, which we put the whole set uh, videoed at West Fest live. Yeah. So that rather than put the MP3 out, we put the video up, so that'll be up there. And then we're going to do we're going to do um, a live lounge thing as well, where the vocal tracks that we've got we're going to do live. So my mob will be playing the guitar, the piano. I'll be oh, rapping yeah. and doing vocal vocals and well, that's the other thing we should probably mention actually because Mike you because not just are you able to kind of produce music in the studio but you've kind of the first time I ever saw you actually I think was a uh, YouTube video that you shared <coughs> of you playing various hardcore bits on a, yeah. a on electric guitar you guys want to expand on doing the kind of live thing is that something you want to do in front of an audience more or yeah I, I want to I definitely do want to but I really I really get passionate about how it's going to sound like out there I've done a couple of live things before and and, and you know there hasn't been sound tests and you know the sa- the guitar feeds back yeah. or, yeah, or yeah. like um, something stupid like you know we're, we're playing and, and, and the It'll CDJs are different yeah, yeah. And, and the CDJs are at different speeds and the guitar slightly out of tune just all those things I'd love to do the live sets again but it really would have to when it, when it happens it has to be you know, properly oh, we have to get requires, early we have to yeah. get a sound check because it really does matter I mean when you're just playing CDJs it's it's straight in and that's it but yeah I, I'd love to I'd love to do some more stuff like that but it just has to be it just seems quite rare you know I mean in, a, in an era where kind of electronic music's like quite a big thing and there's you know ten and penny people sort of playing DJ sets it's quite rare to find somebody that kind of does that but is actually able to play their music live you know so this album sessions kind of acoustic thing that you do this live yeah. action is going to be quite different yeah and on the album there's two tracks as well we, we put on um, two skits one that's we, right yeah, yeah you call them piano skits, one yeah. nice sort of like um, sort of emotional one and um, a nice happy sort of commercial guitar one which we will do live we'll do a video yeah, the guitar well. was live the guitar one's live and the piano one I've played live on there so yeah so basically it's Facebook and, and it's Mob is your page and it's Facebook MCM yeah yeah, and MCM. obviously I think it'll it's be mob official yeah did you say AS TV is going to be yeah or Album Sessions TV I, I, I think it will but it's called Album Sessions TV isn't yeah. it but it'll be hashtag AS TV people will find it on YouTube yeah, and, yeah, it'll it'll and also we've got our SoundClouds cool. yeah mine's just in, in, obviously Instagram the real MC Enemy uh, oh, Twitter MC Enemy everything's MC Enemy for me it's quite simple there you go. <laughs> I think my Twitter nice, again nice, cool. is mob mob official DJ mob or Instagram I've, I should have written these down really before, before we started <laughs> we'll smooth it out Google. don't worry with you yeah. um, so what's next for you guys obviously you've said that this is the last album you're going to do together yeah. so what are you going to do musically going forward I mean obviously I'm assuming you guys are going to still work together on the main stages and oh stuff. yeah yeah of course so, like, live wise obviously but we've, we, uh, we've worked so hard we've done so many mixes as well even before the albums you know what I mean all together we've probably got about 8 or 9 like good good CDs that we've done and obviously Mike um, signed to um, 
Lethal Fury, and and it's just this this took so long. It took about a year, and it took quite a lot. And I, I don't think at the moment like this is this is the, the peak of what we've been able to do. And I think it'd be good to end it on this sort of like we've got the history CD. We can't really do like a big big album and then do a history CD and then oh we'll do another one. Yeah, I think yeah. it's really the way we've done this is really good just to end it. Do you know what I mean? So everyone's got the other albums, and everyone can listen to this for a while, and then obviously then we we'll, we'll do do some other other bits. Obviously, if you sit there, I've got an idea for a hardcore track in like a year or something. We're not going to go. No, we're not allowed to do it. We were talking a little bit earlier about like how um, hardcore's had a lot of influences from different genres over the last few years, and you know electro and dubstep and all these things. But you were saying kind of how it's given hardcore its identity back, but with kind of a modern take. Do you think that's that's the future of, of things now? Do you think um, things are on the up? What is happening is, is it was all those sounds are being put back in, you know, yeah. the, the best bits. You know, the, the drum changes, the, the basses, the kick slaps and, and the sounds, but but they're being produced into actual hardcore tracks again. So we've like, still got that kind of original hardcore sound. Yeah, to but it, with, kind of with thing. the newer newer age, you know, the, the benefits from what what there's the transition that we've been through so I, th- I think it's wicked I think the artists as well I think um, everyone what everyone's doing now like videos podcasts channel YouTube channels albums I think Harker's been really guilty if you look at drummer bass and every other music scene on the planet they really do promote it and promote themselves and that kind uh, of professional uh, online yeah. presence and yeah. we all, we've all been a bit guilty like, apart, from, to me, apart from the Harker underground guys you've been doing it for a long time but most of the artists in Harker have been really guilty of just, just playing out live and that's, what, that's it do you yeah. know what I mean? But you to do YouTube videos to make things look cool again. Because all the kids, the kids want to listen to get into a scene. It wants to, it needs to look cool, doesn't it? And I mean, I know it's just one example, but like the Inbetweeners movie, where they have the boat party at the end of the. Like, oh yeah, film. filming, filming it properly. And we've seen that, and we're like, God, you know, that's nothing compared to an HTD in the Sun boat party. The boat parties that we have to play at or we or we go to are actually better than that. If people saw, what think, if people seen. saw what Harkle was actually oh. like, and they went to a party and they actually experienced yeah, that vibe and met those people and stuff, they would be hooked for life. Magaluf, I mean, it was rammed full of mm. like, about, about a thousand people that weren't even there for HRD, Swedish, Americans, and then yeah, yeah. at first they didn't know what they were doing. That's and then brilliant. halfway through the set they were having it, like people on the podiums saying, what is this music? It was just like, every, I don't, I, you know, I, Call my bluff, but anyone who get into hardcore, if they, just, they go to a rave and see the atmosphere, you know, I'll, I'll eat my mic if they turn around <laughs> and said, no, I'm not coming here again. It's not even seeing it either, it's feeling it. Yeah. Like, yeah, seeing yeah. it on a video is one thing, and then if they listen to the audio, they go, oh, you know, that's too fast for me or whatever, but you actually take them there, there's hardly anyone that walks out of there going, you know, that was shit. Yeah. Well, that's the other thing we've said as well, is like, you know, 10 years ago, kind of 170 BPM was quite a scary thing, but if you, you can turn on Radio 1 at two, 2 o'clock on a Tuesday afternoon and hear noisier yeah, with chasing course. states and stuff, 170 BPM suddenly is not quite a scary thing. Just don't thing, turn you know? it on Friday morning to listen to Nick Grimshaw's show. Yeah, <laughs> oh, mate, don't get me wrong, that, that, that winds me up. No, I don't know anybody man. else. Grimmers, Nick, Grimmers, Nick, Grimmers, you hear this? Sort it out. Get, <laughs> Can you mate. quiff or wobble? <laughs> Mob Enemy, thanks for joining us, guys. We're going to go into the guest mix now. We'll speak to you very soon. Quickly. Take it easy. Cheers. Bye. Nice one. The best new music from around the world. This is the Hardcore Underground Show. Get up, get up. If I see you sitting down, son. Get up, get up. If I see you getting tired, girl. Get up, get up. I want to see the place shake, giving everything we take. This will make you fucking break. Right, so we're straight into the second of our guest mixes this month. This is Mob and Enemy in the Mix on the Hardcore Underground Show. Ahead of the release of their CD album Session 4, out right now. Stay tuned. Everybody dance! Get up! Listen to the words I preach so quick, sometimes they just can't hear properly, but do you don't know my mix? Any fun of me, no matter what she kicks off. Black is a man about this scene, and I mean, you know where the love is the music, and you just love to block out of the talking shit that I sing away on night. Get up! Get up! See another light, I type in a poor pie, wanted to fight me, open your eyes, you wait in a fire. Voice is fixing, passing the pass, keep hugging the fire, you're gonna get burned. Too fucking dumb, so you ain't gonna learn. I'm great at Britain, not burn. Not my mates, I'm spitting this burn. So get up, get up. If I see you sitting down, son, get up, get up. If I see you getting tired, girl, get up, get up. I wanna see that place shake, giving everything we take. This will make you fucking break.
song comes in, you know what to do, it's an absolute beast. Just get up. to Mob an Enemy on the Hardcore Underground Show, episode 15. Addicted to your name I thought I'd be Lost without you and me Like a broken record place With every lie you gave I love you, I love you You said every day My love's now faded away I'm breathing on my own And I'm standing strong at a strong Nothing can stop me now Breathing on my own And I'm standing strong at a strong Nothing can stop me now I walked away With an iron heart And I won't let it break I'll be okay Because you and my Tickets in the bar, travel with my best friends You and I passed by for like two to three hours Didn't give a shit in the summer rain showers First in the last time the rave was my escape Shared off and show outs to me and all my mates It's a different kind of life I lived for 14 years I would never change a thing, you can see it in these tears So 
breathing on my own And I'm standing strong at a strong Nothing can stop me now And now I'm breathing on my own And I'm standing strong at a strong Nothing can stop me now I love you, you said every day Like a broken record place I walked away with an iron heart and I won't let it break I'll be okay Because you're in my best So I heal it now I got an iron, iron, iron Iron heart, iron, iron, iron I got an iron heart Iron, iron, iron Iron, iron, iron I You're in tune to Mob and Enemy's guest mix on the Hardcore Underground Show. I got an iron heart. So, so many kinds, it's time to blow your minds. So strap in, hold tight, we got bass and extra lines. Bass lines and metaphor rhymes, keep your arms inside all times. You know it's safety first, this world is dangerous on the verge of rocking your brains. I'll stay within your kinetic chain. So roll up, roll up, come and try this hot show. The famous album sessions, if you want your minds blown. It's the sound of Roll up, roll up, it's the sound of It's not an enemy. It's the sound of The famous album sessions, so. Check this out. Get him in the groove and the trap and the trap and the going on more and the rapper and the rapper and the clap clap. Turn up the heat, I'm hot. Wow, the beat is under my gaze. I'm therapist. Doing it more by separatist. I never get pain in the crave for this headache. You're the important shit. All you wanna see is glow sticks. All you wanna hear about whistles. I don't wanna know your rumors. No matter how big or little. I'm one about me now. I'm a fans now. That's it. Don't treat me like a spastic. 'Cause I eat MCs with chopsticks. From here to Japan, you were saying land. Germany, Holland, Spain, Amsterdam. I'm a fan. Understand that I'm meant to be back 'cause it makes me a soldier. I am who I am, and you know it. Yeah. My drip when I throw it The brightest in the seat glowing That laser lights when I rave nights Turn clubs in instant rainbows You're floating Half a night to be growing Like Nicholas Cage I face off Any negativity showing I can't be asked So why the fuck can I just dance See my friends to get fucked up Let's love it till our time's up Yo shit And the mix is fresh Anthem after anthem And this is a massive one Let's go you do that warm me with a smile on your face you own me I stay up with you all night if you hold me and there's a fire in your eyes just trust these words will stand so tall your heart is Let's walk through fields of endless joy Cause love is all we need Just say you will be mine And this is another catchy one you will be mine. Just say you will be mine You ready? Here it comes, it's rising You'll feel the build up Each and every wave of wherever you are
music from their album Session 4 out now. This is Mob and Enemy in the guest mix on the Hardcore Underground Show. Turn it up. Just say you will be mine. It's the little things you do that warm me. With a smile on your face, you own me. I'll stay up with you all night if you hold me. Just trust these words will stand so tall Your heart is all I need Let's walk through fields of endless joy Cause love is all we need Just say you will be mine 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 Just go the music, let it go Rip that body, let it go That's the noise, let it go So let me know, just let it go This is hardcore for your mind You're so crazy, one of a kind Wait for the drop, take control Rip that body, let it go From Mob and Enemy, our second guests on the HU show this month. Massive shouts to you guys. Also, thanks to Alex Prospect as well, the first of our guests on this month's show. Don't forget, you can check us out on social media. It's at Fracas and at Nick Darwin on Twitter, and it's facebook.com forward slash Fracas and Darwin. Stay locked. You know when I spit bars and mixes, I got this fire in my eyes. Burning out a fire in the skies. Let's go, listen. So, this is the end of the show and the last one of the year. It is indeed. We've given out all our social media links um, a little bit ago, so we won't do that again. But you know where to find us. You know, you, you, you kids, you know what you're doing with computers and all that. <laughs> get out there and find us and follow us and subscribe to things and stuff like that um, yeah and thanks to Alex as well yeah thanks Alex Prospect and everybody else who's contributing music and interviews and bits and pieces over the course of the year we will of course be back in January and we will see you out and about on New Year's Eve if you're at Doncaster Dome or HW Premonition on the South Coast um, we've already got plenty of stuff in the diary for January, February, March April even yeah and uh, some stuff exciting stuff maybe maybe summer. please so um, yeah hopefully we'll catch you very very soon and thanks for listening we'll catch you next time